Hello everyone, this is a multi instance macro guide for Minecraft better condition speedrunning. So, we're using multi resets made by Lolit69. And to start off, you need to install HK version 1.1 if you haven't already. After that, you can go to the latest release, which is version 1.6, and download it and extract the file. Now, you can open multi resets HK. And before actually resetting and speedrunning, you need to make sure about some things. First of all, you need to make sure about the number of instances. To know what is the recommended number of instances you, you can have, you need to go to the check in task manager and in logical processors, you need to divide that number by 4. So 24 by 4 is 6. So for me, the recommended amount on version 1.16 of Minecraft is 6 instances. On some older versions like 1.2, or uh, I can have some more instances because it's less laggy and requires less memory and on some newer versions like 1.21 it is more laggy and needs more memory and stuff so you need you can have less instances to make your PC actually run and not be laggy now we need to check some settings in Minecraft the first setting is screen animations it has to be off and the second one is change screen safe area. It has to be set to the max. And the third setting is GUI scale. It has to be the max as well. Now you can also block the marketplace by going to other and just op clicking this. And by clicking yes, you block the marketplace and no to allow it again. Because when you have the marketplace on, there are ads here that actually lag the game the more you have it open. And it's actually quite annoying. So you can just block the marketplace to have a better time resetting and playing Minecraft. So now it's blocked. Anything newer than 1.17, block marketplace is usually buggy. So you, you need to allow it again on those versions if you have to. Because there are some bugs like you can't put custom skins or sign in or even play multiplayer. Now you also need to register multi. And you have to do that every time you install a different Minecraft version. I can also edit the hotkeys. I can set this to 6. And, and this is the layout, which is the first number is the horizontal. And the second value is the vertical value. So now I already registered multi and I can just start resetting. Now, because I'm on auto, it has to check for these cores to play the seed. This is for stronghold resetting. But for now, I can just use manual, which is the exact same, just without the cores checking. It will just play out every seed. I have to wait a bit for the uh, instance to open. I'm on 1.2, so it opens very quick. And I can just start resetting. So because I'm on 1.2, I have to click play on some of them. And now I can just start resetting. And because I'm on manual, it will just check as, as if every seed is viable. And that's it for older versions. You can just use setup list and don't need to worry about the setup. Now for some other versions like 1.19.50, you have to use the setup no matter what. So in this version, you have to go to settings and change your language to Japanese, which is the second to last one. This is because on this page, now it's on the old UI, which is similar to 1.16 or 1.2. Because if you, don't, if you keep it on English or any other language, it will be on the new UI, which is impossible to auto reset on. Now you have to use the setup. Make sure that the number of instances and the layout is set up for this version. So it wants, it wants to know that it's on this screen, which is the play screen, which is when, when it clicks play. And the unique part is this, the, bo the blue part in the bottom. I just have to make sure you're focused on the screen. I just clicked uh, normally on any place. And now I can click tab here. And now the second thing is the button, which is what it wants to click. So anywhere here. Now it wants the heart, so I have to go back in a world and set it up beyond the heart. The leftmost heart is usually the best because if you're damaged, it will keep it will stay red. 
I clicked on it. I may die, it's okay. And now the identifier for save and quit is this blue part or cyan part in the crown. And the button is save and quit, of course. And now the identifier here is the earth. And this is the button. And now you can just click anywhere. Make sure that the asterisk is next to the color at the end. Like uh, at the green part, you can see that the color has changed and there is an asterisk at the end. Now you can just click tab twice because it's both the identifier and the and where you click at the same time. Now the identifier in word creation on all versions is the is this screen. Just click anywhere on like this the sky. Now it wants the seed as well for set seed. And for word creation, you can just do whatever you want. But obviously, for most runners, they just want to enable coordinates and. And choose easy so you just have to click tab and then click tab again for easy and then click tab to show coordinates and then click tab to actually create the word and that's it you just click shift and escape now and you're done now you can just uh, click launch instances or restart mc which is alt f3 for me and start resetting now now I can start resetting and it should work. Oh, it's because I, I chose setup less and didn't change it to setup, that's why. So now I chose setup and now it should work. And it's perfect right now, it's working perfectly. Now for version 1.21 you would have the new UI no matter what, so you have to do the setup again. So you can just go back to English again and do the setup now. Now it's mostly the same, it's just slightly different places and slightly different places to click. So I just click tab on each of those, it's, it's almost the exact same. I just click on the, on the leftmost heart, and it's the same place here, just the sign part of the crown, and then save and quit, and then the earth here. And this button and then the identifier here just anywhere here make sure, just make sure the asterisk is there and just click it twice and now the identifier here is the is the sky here again and now for the seed because the seed is not available here you have to edit the, the clicks.txt later on but for now just click on any gray part that is not at the le at the rightmost part of my word here just anywhere here click tab and then you just want to do the normal setup and just make sure that the asterisk is there every time you click so just anywhere to the left or the right of easy there the asterisk is visible so just click tab here and now you just want to be on the yellow part or like the burning part of the furnace and now you just want to enable show coordinates and days played and recipe unlocking so just click tab and make sure that the asterisk is there so it's on the box the, the small box on the button or I mean the switch and just click tab to the left or right of create again and just make sure that the asterisk is there as well the same for the entire word creation here and that's it you can just click shift and tab or I mean yeah shift and escape and you can just start resetting wait for the instance to sign in and now you can reset and this is an issue in 1.21 which it doesn't wait for the it doesn't wait for the settings to appear so what you have to do is you have to go to author and enable wait for word creation colors and now it should work perfectly And you have days played on and you have the coordinates on, everything is working. Now I forgot to mention 1.21 set seed. So what you have to do now is in this page you just go to configs and go to clicks.txt and now this is your 1.21 setup. So you have to cut seed and remove remove the extra line and go to the second to last one and just paste it there. 
and once you paste it in make sure to restart multi resets if you haven't and now it should work just by clicking restart mc and then starting to reset it should work now instead of pasting in the word name it would paste in the seed box instead now it's working it's on a set seed now on versions like 1.0 which have the very old ui you also have to do the setup because it's different compared to 1.2.13 and you can't use setup list so I disabled wait for world creation colors compared to 1.21 because that's only necessary for the new UI and now I can just do the setup I also registered multi before I recorded this part of the video now it's mostly the same as well just click tab on the identifier and then click tab on the on the play and now just go in a word choose the heart Make sure it's red. Now the identifier here is just anywhere in the Minecraft box because those take time to load, so it's quite buggy there. And now just click on save and quit, or I mean tab. And now you can just click on the earth for the identifier, or click tab for the identifier, and just click the button. Now it's the same, it's also the earth here. And now click tab on the sky as well. And then the seed. And now just click easy because coordinates don't exist in this version. So tab and then tab again and tab here. And that's it. Just click shift and escape. Now when I choose manual and for instance, it should work now. That's perfect. So something I forgot to mention is that you can use the setup for other things. So for example, on 1.16.1, you can use the set uh, you can use the setup list type by default. But if you want to choose different world creation settings, or disable multiplayer, or even enable behavior packs, you can use the setup to do to do it. As you can just click tab here, or anything that you want, and you can just choose a different simulation distance you can even change the word type you can also change the behavior pack just make sure to click tab when you are doing the setup another thing i forgot to mention is that you can add seeds in the seed list so you can open config and then open seeds.txt and by just adding a comma and then pasting whatever seed you want you can just add more seeds to the seed list and you can just add another comma and add whatever seed you want as well